you exploiting each and every speaking opportunity that you get? We'll look at this in a bit more detail in just a moment, but first, I'm Shola Kay, I'm based in London, and I work with individuals and also with businesses to help people become better communicators. Whether you're a business owner, whether you are somebody who's an event organizer and you bring in keynote speakers, please do get in touch and I'll let you know a bit more about that at the end of this video. But first, are you exploiting your speaking opportunities. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, a couple of weeks ago, I was working with a client of mine who's in my Get Clients with Speaking group, and she had created an amazing opportunity for her, herself to get in front of an audience and do give her first talk as a business owner. And she was very comfortable speaking to suppliers and people in her, in her field of business, but this was gonna be her first uh, talk where she'd be giving her signature signature speech about her business and then inviting people to work with her at the end of that talk. Because this was her first talk and this was a big opportunity, we worked together to think about how she could exploit that talk to the max and get the most from it um, and then be able to set herself up as a speaker. Uh, I won't go into all the detail of it now, but one of the things that she did is she made sure that from that one talk, she got as many testimonials as she possibly could. She was particularly ingenious because she was able to get six video testimonials from one talk, six. And what she was also very clever about doing is it was a fantastic venue with um, lots of different surfaces, lots of artwork, um, and she was able to record each of those testimonials from the audience members on a different background, so a different wall. So what that meant was it looked like she could have been at six different events. So she really did exploit that opportunity to the max. And if you're a beginner speaker and you're trying to gather up those assets that prove that you're out there, you're doing your thing, that you are a competent speaker and you should be getting more opportunities, then I suggest that once you do have an opportunity to speak, you do the same thing. Think about the assets that you might want to collect from that speaking opportunity, and then make sure you plan carefully to get everything you need. You may even want to write out a separate list of all the opportunities that that speaking gig is bringing to you and everything you need to do, not just during the presentation, but after. Because often it's what we do afterwards that really counts regarding getting booked again to speak. And as someone who, uh, my rebooking rate has really climbed recently and it's because i'm not saying it's because i'm a fantastic speaker i'm not saying that at all i'm saying that it's about ticking those boxes at the end of your presentation so that you maximize that opportunity whether it's in terms of gathering assets or letting people know that you're available to do more speaking there are a number of things that you can do but today let's just talk about the testimonials because especially if you capture video testimonials they have multiple functions, right? You can use the video testimonial as is and put it on your website or put it on YouTube. You could also take photos of the testimonial or of, or of the person who's speaking and just maybe superimpose some kind of highlight quotes like fantastic talk or I learned so much that I can implement tonight, whatever it might be. So you could create an image post from that. You could just take the text itself, some of the, the key uh, phrases, and create image posts from those with different backgrounds. You could extract some of the key, um, you know, wow, this was great, uh, I'll never be the same again, or whatever it was. Preferably you want to take out text that shows a real benefit or a transformation for that individual. But you can extract those, and you can use those on a web page and just call out to those, have them in call out boxes or have them in larger font or in um, quotes, okay? You could transcribe an entire testimonial 
and have that as a written testimonial on your web page or wherever or any, or any social media you could use it in Instagram one video testimonial even just one could be probably used in what 10 different ways and on different sites and different media imagine if you've got six of those you could just spread them out over time you wouldn't even need to publish them all at once so I've given you quite a few ideas there for how to use video testimonials but the very first thing you've got to do is remember to grab them in the first place so make sure that before you go speak your phone is has got enough space on it to record a few videos make sure that your phone is accessible if you're going to use your phone for these testimonials make sure it's accessible so that as soon as you finish speaking you don't forget because people will flood you and oh that was great thank you you've got to stay focused and think hold on a sec what do I need from this okay I need the testimonials so you might have to say to those people who come and congratulate you brilliant thank you for that can I just grab you for a second and get you on camera or if those people don't want to be filmed you might need to say well I'll be with you in a moment but I need to go and just speak to a couple of people first to get testimonials and then come back later because quite often once the moment's gone it's gone it's very hard to um, get people to come back and maybe create a testimonial on their phone they have different energy they haven't just been in your presence so they're not all bubbly um, so it might just be a bit more of a somber affair than if you got the testimonial there and then at that moment so I hope that helps make sure that you exploit your speaking opportunities because each opportunity should be leading to more but a lot of that is down to you making that happen I hope that helps if you're somebody who's interested in growing your business with speaking then why not check out my live online events and my online on-demand masterclass which you can just watch whenever you want to wherever you are that will help you to be amazing on stage and win clients with public speaking if you go to showdecay.com slash masterclass then you can sign up for the next masterclass or if I've got an online event coming up then there'll be a sign up there for the event instead but if you are interested in growing your business with speaking then that's a, a nice handy call to action for you and you'll get some really great tips and some of my favorite um, go-to tools during the masterclass or during the live event that's it for now. Remember to work it, work it, work it. In the words of, was it RuPaul? You better work, work it, girl. <laughs> work every speaking opportunity. Take care. Bye.